looking for an only one software that lets you record edit stream and present like a pro meet wondershare demo creator unlike obs studio demo creator comes with a built-in template a teleprompter ai tools and a powerful video editor making it perfect for creators educators and professionals i'm going to be leaving the link in the description and on the comment section so you can check out their pricing plans and you can also download it for mac or windows this is how the interface look like before you get started make sure you are signed into your account moving to the main features we're going to be starting with the video presentation mode which has built-in templates and virtual camera to move to the video presentation mode click on video recorder and now on the video recorder just head over to this place you will see video presentation click on video presentation now you have various templates to select from and you can also start with a blank project or you can import from powerpoint i'm going to select from one of the templates here now this is the template you can customize the text and you can also click on this plus icon here to add in another layout and you can customize it and once you add another layout you can import media from here and importing media you can select the images you want to add in so i'm just going to resize it now i'm going to right click and select the layer and on the layer i'm going to send it backward and as you can see my webcam is showing and from the import button you can also add in videos powerpoint and you can share your screen next i'm going to add in another layout and import my logo if you want to make it easy for you to customize you just head over to transform over here and you can resize it from here so next i'm going to right click and send it backward and now to play the video i'm just going to click on play and as you can see this is the video now if you want to select your camera you just head over to the camera option here and select your camera another cool feature it has is the ability to customize your camera if you want to customize your camera just head over to property another property you can see border from the border you can select different shapes you want to use on the mirror it has the horizontal and vertical next on the camera effect this is where you can be able to remove your background without using a green screen so to remove my background i'm just going to turn on the camera effect and select a portrait and as you can see i've successfully removed my background and if you are using a green screen just move to green screen and select the green screen and once you are done customizing your scenes and adding camera effects if you want to add in more things like text shape stickers and background just move to this section up here this is where you can also import your text images powerpoint and share your screen next is the virtual background next if you want to add in text just select the kind of title you want to use i'm just going to select title one i'm going to just place it here and customize it if you want to add in some cool shapes to your presentation just click on the shape icon here and you'll be able to place it anywhere you like i'm just going to resize it and if you want to change the color move to property and from property move to current field and you'll be able to change the color from property next is the ability to add in stickers to the already made template so i'm just going to select one of the stickers here as you can see this is the sticker here i'm just going to resize it next if you want to add in virtual background just create a new layout here and click on background and select the background of your choice so i'm just going to select this background here once you are done customizing your slide and you are okay with it just click on record once you start the recording if you want to switch between various scenes what you just need to do is to double click and it automatically switch to the next scene next if you want to connect this to zoom so that as you are doing your presentation you can be able to change your slide and send it to zoom what you just need to do is to come over to this stream option and click on it now in zoom click on the camera option here and you will see demo creator virtual camera select it and turn on your camera once you turn on the camera you'll be able to see everything you are seeing in the video presentation mode during recording i want to add in some additional effects move to the mini tuba over here and you can see different options here like the cursor drawing and spotlight now you can select whether pen or highlight and over here this is where you can change the size so i'm just going to move it to medium next let's move it to the highlight once you click on the highlight you'll be able to highlight any point you are making if you want to clean it just click on clear drawing now when making your video presentation i want to spotlight a particular area what you just need to do left click and drag your mouse to wherever you want to spotlight and once you are done you can move back to the cursor option here 
Next, another powerful feature with the video presentation mode is the built-in teleprompter. To enable the built-in teleprompter, just move over to this place and you will see teleprompter. Click on it and you'll be able to paste in your script or you can import the document script. So I'm just going to import it. As you can see, this is the script. You can make some adjustments like improving the writing. On the settings here, you can adjust the speed and opacity and also the text alignment and font size. So once you are done, just click on play. And once you are doing your video presentation, you have your live teleprompter. Lastly, on the video presentation mode, if you want to pause your recording, you can pause your recording from here. Or if you want to start over again, you can just click on start over. Or once you are done, just click on end recording. Once you end the recording, you will have this option here to move to advanced editing or AI clips generator. I'm going to be talking about the editing mode later in this video. The second main feature is the screen recording mode with AI enhancements. So just click on the screen and now this is how the screen recording mode look like. To make adjustments, just click on the select screen and you'll be able to choose custom selection or if you want to screen record and post on social media platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you'll be able to select it. So I'm just going to select YouTube. If you want to select a particular window, click on the select windows and you'll be able to select the window you want to capture. Next is the magic tool. Once you click on the magic tool, it has some features here like smart zoom, also highlights, hotkeys and AI voice cleaner. So I'm just going to enable two options here which is the cursor highlight and AI voice cleaner. Next is the built-in teleprompter and you have the recording button. Next is the camera mode. To select your camera, click on the camera options and you'll be able to select your camera from here. Next, this is where you can select your microphone and to reduce the volume, you can reduce the volume from here. Next is the system audio. This is where you can also select if you want to use your laptop speaker or headphone. So I'm just going to select headphone. This is the settings option. We have the general. On the file, this is where you can select where to save your recording and on the video mode this is where you can select the frame rate of the video and on the encoder mode this is where you can select the encoder you want to use and on the quality it will be on normal just move it to high next is the webcam on the webcam you can also select your camera from here and you can select the resolution of your camera and lastly we have the frame rate of your camera and on the shortcut this is where you can program various keys to stop your recording start your recording pause your recording and so much more now on the camera effect, this is where you can be able to add some cool effects to your camera like changing the shape of your camera. If you want to change the shape to cycle, just select cycle and you can also add in glowing effects. So I'm just going to select this. With the AI feature, you can be able to remove your background without using green screen. And also if you want to blur your background, just select blur and it automatically blow the background behind you. Next, you have the mirror mode and also you have AI beauty filter. And on the AI beauty filter, this is where you can be able to apply some filters like the skin to skin brightening, face slimming and other settings here. Another cool feature it has here is to schedule your recording for later. And once you are set to record, just click on the record button here. When you start the recording, it has some cool effects you can add to spice up your recording. Just click on the mini toolbar here. First, we have the pen. You can select the color from here and you can also select the size. And as you can see, and to clean it, just click on the erase tool and click on whatever you have drawn. If you want to highlight some points while screen recording, you can select the color you want to use here. So I'm just going to select yellow. If you want to add in additional text while screen recording, just select the text. This is where you can be able to select the size and the color you want to use. And to enable the text, just double click and type in whatever you want to add. You can position it anywhere you like. And to delete it, just click on the erase tool here and erase the text. While screen recording, if you want to cycle some things, just select the shape you want to use, whether cycle or rectangle. So I'm just going to select cycle and select the color and size I want to use. So I'm just going to draw cycle over my picture here. To use the rectangle, just select the rectangle. Next is the arrow. Select the arrow and select the color you want to use. And you can point the arrow to any object here. If you want to draw a line, this is where you can also draw a line. Next is the spotlight. If you want to make emphasis to a particular area when screen recording and to enable the spotlight mode, once you left click, hold it and you can move your mouse to wherever you want to spotlight. 
when screen recording and you want to type in some things draw some shape and you don't want it to show in the window you are screen recording just click on the whiteboard option and from here you will be able to draw or write whatever you want if you want to clean everything from the whiteboard without using the eraser tool to clean it one by one, just click on clear drawing. And over here, you have the option to pause your recording, delete and restart, or end the recording. So I'm just going to end the recording. Now moving to the third main feature is the advanced editing mode. So just click on advanced editing. One of the cool things I love about the editing mode is that your camera is separate and the screen recording is separate and the audio is separate and you can make editing separately on each layers here. Now in the editing mode, we're going to be going through the various features here. On the template mode, it has various templates here you can use and customize in the editing mode and also from the background, you can be able to select different backgrounds you want to add to your editing next is the annotation on the annotation under graphics you can add in arrow cycles and different shapes to your editing on the text this is where you can add and customize different text to your editing to customize the text just go to the annotation over here and you can change the title of the text you can also centralize it from here and you can also add in other things like text border and shadow on the video effect this is where you can be able to apply some effects to your camera like the green screen option AI portraits, blur background, mirror, border, and so many more effects. I'm just going to add in border effects to my camera. Drag and drop the effect on your camera. Now, under Magic 2, this is where you can be able to select the shape. You can add in AI portraits like the background remover. On the AI beauty, you can edit your skin tool and other things in the AI beauty. And also, you have the green screen. On the audio effects, if you notice some background noise in your audio, all you just need to do is to add the AI denoise. Drag and drop it to your audio. Audio. and on the magic tool select the denoise and enable it once you enable it this is where you can be able to adjust the noise level the hiss and the home on the audio below we have the ai voice cleaner this is where you can so adjust the clarity of your audio by adjusting the strength of the ai voice cleaner and also under the audio effect it has some other powerful features like the ai voice changer ai vocal remover and voice effect on the cursor effect it has various effects here like the cursor highlights cursor spotlight cursor magnifier cursor rings and click sound now on the cursor highlight this is where you can be able to change the color of the existing cursor highlight on your screen recording so if you want to change the color just drag and drop the cursor highlight to the screen recording and move to cursor highlight under the cursor highlight select color and this is where you can be able to change the color you can also adjust the size and the opacity next we have the pan and zoom effect this is where you can be able to add some smart zoom to your screen recording i'm just going to be making use of the smart zoom which is powered by ai to add the effect drag and drop it to your screen recording and as you can see this is how the smart zoom look like on the transition mode this is where you can be able to add in some cool transition to your intro and outro and also you can add it in between different segments on your video next is the brand kit you'll be able to see different type of text intro to add and from the search bar here you'll be able to search the type you are looking for next we have the stickers this is where you can be able to select different animated stickers on the audio this is where you can be able to select copyrighted free audio you can use for your video on all your social media platforms on the sound effect this is where you can be able to add in different sound effects to your video and also transition effects on the effects part you have customizable text and opener you can use for your video and you can select it from these options here if you want to add these subtitles to your video just come over to this place and click on add subtitles now you have three options which is auto subtitles manual subtitles and import subtitles so i'm just going to click on manual subtitles this is where you can manually type in your subtitles and if you want to add in more just click on add blank subtitles and you'll be able to generate it manually once you're done with the editing and you want to export just move over here and click on export this is where you can change the name of your project on the format this is where you can select the format you want to use mp4 mov or mkv and on the aspect ratio this is where you can be able to select the ratio you want to use and on the project resolution this is where you can be able to select the resolution of your video and from the resolution you can select up to 4k resolution next this is where you can be able to select where you want to save your video to and below you have the preset mode now on the preset mode 
This chair can be able to select different presets you want to use, whether high, medium, or normal. I'm just going to be moving it to high. And on the settings here, click on settings. And from the settings, this is where you can be able to select encoder for your video, frame rate, bit rate, and below you have the audio encoder, channel, sample rate, and bit rate for your audio. Once you are done, just click on OK. You have the thumbnail maker over here. To add in a thumbnail, just click on edit. And from the AI recommendation, it will select catching aspect from your videos you can use as thumbnail or if you want to manually add in your already made thumbnail, just click here to select from local file. And once you are done with the settings, all you just need to do is to click on export and wait for it to render your video another cool feature you need to check out is the batch export now this is a very huge feature for creators because if you have long form videos you can select different segments from your videos you want to turn into short video and export it at once on the batch export go to timeline segments so all you just need to do is to select different segments from your video you want to export to do that under the segment marker here click on the one you want to export i'm just going to select one two three four five and six once you are done you have various segments here which you can rename all you just need to do is to click on batch export now this is where you can also change your format aspect ratio project resolution and where you want it to save so i'm just going to change the presets to high once you are done just click on export demo creator added another amazing feature that is very helpful for faceless youtube channel now if you don't want to show your face while making your video presentation all you just need to do is to click on virtual avatar now on the virtual avatar just move over to your camera and select the camera you want to use so i'm just going to select usb video whenever i move my body it automatically follow my body movement this is where you can select the avatar you want to use so i'm just going to select this next if you have to change the background you are using just select choose background and you can be able to select a virtual background to use next to make the ai avatar to follow your body movement just click on it and move to calibration mode all you just need to do is to position yourself lastly another feature we are going to be talking about is the audio recorder to enable the audio recorder just click on it this is where you can be able to select your microphone on the settings you can make little adjustments to your audio and where you want to save your recording you can also enable the teleprompter mode demo creator makes recording editing and presenting effortless whether you are a youtuber teacher or business professional i'm going to be leaving the link to demo creator down in the description and on the comment section and if you found this video helpful do not forget to comment like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any question drop it down in the comment section below my name is ebenezer from usa studio see you in my next video